Hello welcome to IT Expert YouTube video series. Today we are going to talk about Vice President of Engineering. What skills VP of Engineering should have? Prior organizational leadership experience. Able to collaborate with team members and be a strategic problem solver. A top-notch VP of Engineering should demonstrate excellent communication skills, an ability to connect with other engineers and developers, and have a solid foundation in software design. Extensive knowledge of engineering principles and procedures. Excellent organizational skills and attention to detail. Excellent time management skills. Strong analytical and problem-solving skills. Strong supervisory and leadership skills. What is VP of Engineering Responsibilities? A VP of Engineering is an executive who manages a diverse development team. Developing standards and procedures to ensure that quality standards are met and consistent. Preparing and optimizing engineering budgets. Make technology selection for on-premise and on-cloud. Participate in technology solution architecture and design discussion. Overseeing the consistency of user experiences. Managing a team of managers and developers. Collaborating with product managers and improving company software policies and standards. Recommending technological developments and improvements in efficiency. Contributing to recruitment activities. Perform software contract negotiations and sourcing vendor selection. Perform technology innovation product presentations. How VP of Engineering Make a Difference Takes the business vision and business values and translate that into a technical roadmap. Balance the constant struggle between speed and quality working with their teams to optimize engineering processes, ensure they perform their best, fix anything getting in their way, hit their goals and KPIs, and ultimately deliver great software. What qualification VP of Engineering should have? Engineering or similar degree. Strong organizational leadership skills. Extensive experience in working with stakeholders to create hiring strategies to develop quality teams. Experience in recruiting engineers and contributors. Previous working experience in software design and developing customer-orientated platforms. Strong knowledge of data structures and algorithms. Must be knowledgeable about industry trends, best practices, and change management. How should VP of Engineering monitor his or her progress? Engineering say or do ratio. Engineering process performance and productivity improvement. Engineering retention rate. Product development cycle time. Escape defect rate. Product uptime and availability rate. Customer stratification with new product releases. How much salary a VP of engineering makes. As per the Glassdoor salary estimation a VP of engineering on an average makes $217,000 per year and $50,000 performance bonus with other benefits. What other recommendations for VP of Engineering? To be successful as a VP of Engineering, you should learn business processes, existing products and key stakeholders. Perform technology research and focus on technology innovation to improve the product simplicity, scale, security. Focus on lean and reduce the waste to minimize cost to serve and improve profitability. Negotiate with stakeholders and protect the engineering teams. Provide purpose and missions to engineering team. Hire, reward and recognize engineering talent. Promote good engineering culture where everyone work on one mission and one strategy and support each other as an organic culture. Excite and empower and engage engineering teams. How will you communicate with your team? In order to communicate with my team in an efficient and smooth manner, I will first listen to their ideas and thoughts. When we pay attention to team situations, we are automatically able to ensure that everyone is working towards the same objective. I will also pay full attention to my employees when they are expressing their ideas. I should encourage them to be creative and innovative individuals. This will improve their performance too. Secondly, I will try to build rapport with my team members. Once I empower my senior colleagues, they will emerge as successful beings in the field of engineering. Finally, I will take things with a diplomatic approach. I will be mindful of doing what is right and give my subordinates new opportunities on a regular basis so that they can explore and expand their knowledge and skills. How will you protect your team members? 
The first thing I will do in order to protect my teammates is to identify the Project Vampire and kill him instantly. Project Vampires will slow down progress, discourage the members and push them to inactivity. The way to detect them is by taking control of the situation, especially when they are about to lose control. I will spend time at the front end and mobilize my team until it has a proper plan and understanding of the outcome. Project successes are often tarnished when leadership is not strong enough. Therefore I will make it a point to keep in touch with most of my colleagues at all times. The more I portray myself as a trustworthy person, the more my leadership qualities will be boosted. How will you handle bad team members? Handling bad team members often drain the energy of the team. However, it is not entirely impossible to take care of the situation. The best thing I can do in such cases is supportive as much as possible. What never works is being negative about those who are already filled with animosity. So, it is advisable to understand why they are being so vengeful or negative towards a particular something. Do they feel ill-treated because of some colleague? Or did they just give in to their emotions? Once I find out the real cause, it will be easier for me to coach them. How will you handle conflict in project management? Team conflicts are quite common among group projects. They are not bad all the time though. Conflicts will always give you an idea on the important issues most team members face. This can be solved with frequent meetings. An environment of mutual respect will also improve the situation significantly. People should be willing to agree and disagree with each other with respect. To acknowledge the situation early and respond cautiously will be of great help. No matter what, I will always ensure my team members are always feeling safe when it comes to sharing their ideas with me. The more I appreciate the members, the lesser conflicts will emerge. Tell me a difficult situation you have overcome in the workplace. Conflict resolution, problem solving, communication and coping under pressure are transferable skills desired by many employers as vice president information technology. Use real life examples from your previous roles that you are comfortable explaining. Choose an example that demonstrates the role you played in resolving the situation clearly. Remain professional at all times you need to demonstrate that you can keep a cool head and know how to communicate with people. What would your first 30, 60, or 90 days look like in this role as Vice President Information Technology? Start by explaining what you did need to do to get ramped up. What information would you need? What parts of the company would you need to familiarize yourself with? What other employees would you want to sit down with? Next, choose a couple of areas where you think you can make meaningful contributions right away. For example, I think a great starter project would be diving into your email marketing campaigns and setting up a tracking system for them. Sure, if you get the job, you or your new employer might decide there's a better starting place. But having an answer prepared will show the interviewer where you can add immediate impact and that you are excited to get started. What would you like to have accomplished by the end of your career? Think of three major achievements that you did like to accomplish in your job. When all is said and done and think big. You want to show you expect to be a major contributor at the company. It could be creating a revolutionary new product. It could be implementing a new effective way of marketing, etc. CTO versus VP of Engineering a CTO Chief Technology Officer is the highest technology executive position within a company. The CTO oversees all overarching technology infrastructure while reporting directly to the CEO. The VP of Engineering, however, primarily deals with the management of development teams and preparing and optimizing budgets. Both the CTO and VP of Engineering oversee various responsibilities, but their roles differ in a few key areas. Vision the CTO is usually responsible for the thought leadership of a company and directing the technological processes to achieve goals, while the VP of Engineering will be responsible for ensuring the product vision is executed through team leadership and collaboration. Strategy A VP of Engineering will moderate and delegate the development and engineering while the CTO guides the overall technical strategy. Supervision In terms of supervision, the VPE will oversee and directly supervise technical staff and engineering teams. The CTO, on the other hand, will lead smaller groups of engineering management, architects and research engineers. Responsibility The CTO will be in charge of the technological direction of a company, as well as the engineering culture and vision. The VPE will build and retain teams of developers, chart progress and contribute to their employees' career growth within the company. Planning 
a VP of engineering will plan out the annual budget for the engineering department specifically, while the CTO's job is to improve the bottom line through innovation, organization and thought leadership. Specialization. While the VPE's main focus will be in people, processes and program management, the CTO will guide overall leadership and most of their work will involve research, revisiting processes and examining tech architecture. Execution. The CTO's main objective is to improve the quality of existing tech processes with an emphasis on deliverables, while the VP of Engineering executes and scales projects to achieve product goals. Collaboration The VPE will mainly work internally with engineers and other management teams to develop the company's strategy and products. The CTO is the technological leader of the company and will be involved in many customer-facing activities and work closely with the rest of the leadership team including the CEO. Any questions? Comment below. Thank you for watching this video. We provide hands on computer training with labs, homework, group projects, prepare you for the certification, provide real projects, internship opportunities, support you in Resume, LinkedIn, staffing support, provide tech references, in person, online class, class retake options, and more. Call us at 847 350 9034 for your free career consultation meeting. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our video to get the notification of our latest video.